Burnley are back in the transfer market yet again for a striker. We had Victor Giocarez links coming up last week. However, he seems to be too expensive for Burnley. We've got Val Vegos' contract not having a recall clause in it, which means he will stay at Besiktas until the end of the season. We've then got the termination of Halal Dersavoglu's loan contract, which seems to be happening in January. And it seems to be it is due to his pure attitude. So he will probably be heading back to Turkey, where he is very much so wanted but Burnley are now chasing a striker from the Premier League he's a German he's 25 years old valued at 6 million Burnley want him on a permanent or on a loan deal anything they can to get him to partner Jay Rodriguez as the backup striker or maybe even the main striker going into the next Premier League season we'll get straight into today's video so first up a brief bit on Halal Dersavoglu and what he's done for Burnley so far you know he's been limited to very very minuscule amounts of minutes but when he's came on he has looked quite threatening he's got one goal this season albeit being a very very big one against Rotherham to take Burnley the three points in the dying moments and I'm sure all Burnley fans We'll see that as enough. See the loan is worthwhile purely from the status of that goal. However, he's really failed to get himself in the side. I mean, there's so many wingers and strikers at Burnley. However, Jay Rodriguez seems to be the only striker that's performed. You've got Ashley Barnes, who, again, Burnley fans will take him, not contributing for the rest of the season after that Derby Day performance. But then you've got Halil, again, I said he's been limited to minuscule moments. So it seems there is a spot there on the Burnley bench for another striker to come in with Barnes and Halil not really impressing. Next up, Vut Veghorst's situation. Obviously, it looks like he's going to be staying in Turkey with the, the, the contract not actually having a buy clause, with it being a loan to buy. But... Besiktas are looking to try and lower his price tag down from that 10 million to around 8 million. However, for me, it'd be stupid to do it. We need to eat, if anything, we need to be bumping that price tag up after that performance in the World Cup quarterfinals. Hey, 12 million, it's not too bad. If we get 10 million from in summer, it's a 5 million loss, yes, but I don't think he's going to cut it in the Premier League anyway. So. It is what it is. Company said he's not even thought about the situation yet and he's unaware of any clause, meaning that Vud Vegos could come out in January. So, hey, do the maths. The big man, the big, the latest news at the moment is Dennis Under Burnley have made contact with Brighton Hove Albion over the availability of the German striker who last season had 40 goal contributions in 41 games. Yeah. Pretty mad. He was playing in Belgium last season and he really has torn up. The, he's so highly rated that even he's been brought back to Brighton. He's played eight games this season, struggling very much. So, you know, he's not found the net. He's not got an assist. And he seems to be now out of favour at Brighton again. And he's not even getting on the bench at the moment for now anyway. And he's scoring goals. Transfer market volumes him at £6 million, which is a, it's a decent price tag. It's quite hefty. But for me, I think... 6 million on him, you've got 12 million on Michael Obafemi, and you've got 20 million on Victor Giocarez. Now, for me, Victor Giocarez isn't proven in the Premier League, but I have a feeling he will cut it. Michael Obafemi, for me, again, isn't good enough to cut it in the Premier League. And Dennis Undal, I can't say I've watched a ton of him, but on the ball, he's finishing. He seems a very complete player. He seems like a Vincent Company player and something that we do need at the club. However, I would be looking at maybe a six month loan with an option to buy, I think would be great. Um, because, but I, mean, I was about to say because then you can kind of see what it's about. But then you look at the five loans we've got already. You don't want to be going and having to buy another player on loan. Maybe looking at a player from Belgium. I mean, Dennis Undav technically is still from there, in my opinion. You know, he's not really performed in the Premier League. But a player, a, another hidden gem like we had Juan Asaru, who's with Manuel Benson's with Vitinho's that came from Belgium. And were kind of nobodies. That's a bit mean, but kind of weren't anything big. Until they came to Burnley and now they're kind of getting in their headlines. Uh, and they've gone for cheap. So I wouldn't be surprised if company does go out and do that. But Dennis Undav, he seems like a hell of a player. Now for me, again, go back. I did say there was a space on the Burnley bench for another strike. And I do strongly believe it. With Ashley Barnes kind of coming out of it. I mean, as much as as much as he performed in the derby. And the guys, if you've watched the channel much, you will know how much I despise Ashley Barnes. But I've managed to put that hatred back another six months. He can stay at the club till the summer and then I'll be happy to see him move on as long as he doesn't feature too much. So I think Dennis Undav again would be supposedly looking for the future. Yes, he's still 25, 26, but it's a bit younger than Big Basher um, and Halil, he's going to be leaving anyway. So that, that, that fills a gap that needs to be replaced anyway. We know Vincent Company said he wants two quality players in every single position. So if Halil leaves, that leaves 
Ashley Barnes and J-Rod, and let, let's be honest, boys. Ashley Barnes isn't a quality player. <laughs> Let, let's be realistic. Let's be realistic. He isn't a quality player in that striker position. So Dundav coming in, I think he were bad goals. You know, he's bad goals in Belgium. I wouldn't be surprised if he bad goals in England in the championship. And I, I, I guess he could push up into promotion. The problem is eight matches in the Premier League this season. He's not cut it. So what says that if we go up, he would cut it? That's where the problem is, isn't it? If getting him on a permanent for six million is it a waste of money when you could maybe go get someone that's a bit more proven, maybe a bit more experienced, or even just someone that's gonna it's just a better player, but kind of more more under the radar, which company seems to be absolutely amazing at. But for me, I trust whatever company and base do. They've been spot on up until now. So whatever they want to do, I will back it all the way. Dennis Undav, if you're coming to Burnley, welcome. We'll hold we'll welcome maybe with open arms. But that's it for today's video, boys. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on Dennis Undav in the comments. Obviously, you've watched his highlight reel now. So you should have a bit of an opinion on him. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.